Good afternoon, everyone. Russell Wright from Network Empire, and we have an amazing story for you today. This is going to be a great webinar. There are literally hundreds of people coming into the room today, and for good reason, because we are announcing something wonderful. I'm going to reveal something wonderful to you guys that we have for you. And uh, we have almost all Network Empire team members on the call. Uh, Jimmy is out of the city right now for a family thing that he must do. But we do have everybody else with us. We have CEO Sue Bell, we have Mike Clay, we have Kevin Pauly, and of course I'm Russell Wright. And we are going to jump right in to talking to you about this. Probably there will be some questions. And this is probably one of the most loaded calls we've had in a while. So if you have questions, go ahead and put them in the question box. Also, can we just get a one to make sure that I'm not talking to myself again? Give me a one in the question box so that that gets you acquainted with the question box. Also lets us know, okay, we have a wall of ones. Okay, just shooting by the really, really loaded call. This is great. Okay, good to see everybody. We have, um, <laughs> where's the question box? Obviously, if you're typing into it, you know where that is. Okay, with that being said, uh, we're going to jump right into this today. And Mike and I will be taking you through, of course, with uh, Sue and Kevin might even step in with this, talking about what we're doing and how this is going to assist you to understand the proprietary uh, theme Zoom technology. For those of you who don't know, we've been in business for over 10 years, and Network Empire is one of the several companies that are an offshoot of theme Zoom. And as some of you, some of you may not know that we've been building keyword natural language processing tools. Uh, wicked tools actually since 2005 and 6 when Sue and I founded the company. These tools have only got, gotten better and today we're going to be showing you what we have received as feedback from everybody, what you wanted in one package and I'm really thrilled that Sue and Mike have thrown this together and you're really going to, a lot of thought has been put in, it wasn't merely thrown together, a lot of thought has been put into it but we put it together based on the feedback from everybody so Mike do we just want to jump right in and uh, and look at this. Yeah, let's, let's go. I mean, and, and you know, the the big question is, what what happens when when Sue pulls out the whip, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, other than I, rough, running in I, fear. <laughs> I would have preferred that you had not used that picture. It's a, it's very humiliating on my part. So, I will get you back for that <laughs> using that picture. So that's, been, that's literally. That's literally the one shot that I would not have used. This is the one picture I've been looking for a place to use since the day it was taken. We are, we are all in the pit, and she's enjoying it quite a bit. And, and I'm doing the same thing Russ is doing, but I'm hidden. Yeah, I'm you gonna... intentionally hid yourself, obfuscated yourself, and stuck me out there. I appreciate that. All right. So, guys, today, um, what is it about? We've been talking about this for a long time. Russ, you and I started talking, or you, you brought it up, and we started talking about doing, turning, talking about this, what we're doing today. We've been talking about this for almost a year now. Yeah, it was a prototype technology I'd used a couple times, but you really, both you and Sue, helped uh, productize it and test it. You are really, really good. Mike is very good at testing things in the field uh, for a much, much larger audience. So I did it in my own business, and Sue and I have done it in our own businesses. I'm not sure if Kevin's tried this method yet, but you guys get the idea. So in order to bring it to you, things have to be field tested, and that's when it goes over. Uh, Mike is the one who's willing to blow it, up, blow himself up in front of clients if necessary, and then fix it and make it better so it's a fail-proof for you guys. So what we have today, because because Sue's like, okay, it's time, but let's let's do this. Hmm. Um, today, Sue's going to show everybody how to build a website and how to put a site together in about 10 minutes. And then, Russ, you and I, we're, we're going to finally publicly reveal SEO casting. Okay, cool. That, that hidden secret that we've just kind of held in the background. Right. Um, and then we're going to go into blog boosting, how you take the actual casting and amplify it to, to the tenth degree. And then we're even going to talk about how you can get more out of keywords by Network Empire because there's some really cool things that, that Sue and the programmers have been working on with keywords that, that Sue's going to reveal 
And Mike? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Mike, when you say keywords, you know, since we're, we're using some historical references and new changes in the story, you're really talking about what many people will probably know as TLKT, right, or the last keyword tool? Yeah, the last okay. keyword tool, yeah, because okay. the last keyword tool became keywords by Network Empire, and now, well, we'll, we'll show you in a minute. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk show about you. it in a minute. Okay. Well, you guys know we're talking about software here for the keyword stuff. Um, and then I realized I had those two slides backwards because I had the whole team here, and, and Matt didn't make it today, or um, as, as this picture shows, uh, Network Empire's Jason Statham, right? And then Jimmy was moving today, so he couldn't make it. Yeah, he has some stuff he's got to do, but he's here in spirit. Yep. All right, so guys, here, and this is this is from all of us hearing from you and from me working in the field and just, just all the stuff we've heard. Um, some of the common things that we've heard that are, that are stresses for, for people out doing SEO, one would be, Getting the website built with proper structure. Uh, Sue, how many questions do you get a week about silos Ooh. and and building the right silo? Um, I still get way too many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, ha how many, hey, Kevin? Ha have you have you answered any questions last week on on what the right keyword to pick is? The, there's at least uh, one a week. And um, yeah, the answer is yeah, weekly. <laughs> it's a stress. <laughs> yeah, we've been, you know, and if any of you have attended our certification level one uh, training course where we talk about the ISDNA and other technologies we have to literally include all the keywords in your entire market in a single website, that's more of our advanced training. But one of the things that we talk about is that's really when Sue and I got together and, and created a technology company around keyword technology and LSI, that was the most prolific question out there about how to do this, the keywords, and you know, it's, it's never really gone away. Some of the variables have changed in the definitions, whether it's themes or clusters of keywords or individual keywords, or, uh, but you know, this is really still this evergreen pain and question. And what, we, what astounds us, and I, I think the rest of the team would agree, people are still doing it wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's, it never fails to amaze me. You know, it's, just, it's one of those things that just doesn't go away. As new people come in, you know, the, the bigger picture is not always clear to them. So, yeah. Um, and here's one I always get. This is one, especially like in the MDM course, where we're talking about we've picked the keywords, all right, is this good content? What right. content to write? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then because I harp on content so much, people are always like, well, how, how do we get expert content and how do we make sure it converts? Yeah. Um, because th there's there's a nuance there. there. There's a nuance when you when you start transitioning from just SEO into conversion, and it's exactly. I it, mean, <laughs> it should be seamless, but it's not yeah. always. Yeah, and a lot of you probably on this call have been around. I recognize some of you from for actually the last seven years. That some of you I know over seven years, and you, you guys probably remember the whole SEO content era, right? Where you just grab the SEO, you can still do it, like on Fiverr, and you keyword stuff it, and you know, Steve and I had actually tools in the early years that we collaborated on with other companies like Content Composer, or all these other things, keyword density. Well, you know, you just can't do that anymore. <laughs> it's like, you know, Steve and I were talking about this day before yesterday. It's really, you must include conversion as a capacity when you're even thinking about even SEO content. And that's really all that we're gonna be showing you guys. I mean, some of the things we're gonna be showing you is how to include that mindset you know, instead of just having a pure only SEO mindset. So that'll be really fun to get into, Mike. Yes. Um, distribution. You work really hard to get content. How do you then distribute it to get the most out of SEO and get the best rankings possible for it? Um, how many questions have we gotten in the last couple of weeks just about, hey, is this, this site optimized properly? Uh, you know, I know Jimmy gets bombarded every time he logs into Skype with people saying, "Hey, can you look at my site? It's not ranking for this, or it's not doing that." Um, exactly. Exactly. You know, uh, some of you are asking questions. Like Raffer says, "You know, exactly where do I put fresh content for a consistent publication?" Well, we'll get into that a little bit. That's, a, that's the right question, Raffer. So we'll be covering yes, all these is. different. Yeah. 
Um, and then the other one that we hear frequently is how do we build quality backlinks? Indeed. So, all right. Yeah, we'll get into the definitions of that and for those of you. Uh, just before, Mike, before you jump in, can I just get a one if this is the absolutely first time that you've ever uh, participated in a Network Empire, uh, Network Empire Uncensored webinar? And yeah, could you just give me a one if it's the first time you've ever been here? This will help us, you know, know that we're, you know, reaching new people and starting to attract you where you might not have been to webinars before. Okay, and that'll help our team kind of have a look. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of ones come through. Yeah. Okay. Good. So we're well, definitely welcome to the party. party. Yeah. Welcome. Okay. Good. So thank you guys. Appreciate that. And gals, obviously. Uh, and then there's Jazz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't fit into any of the categories. No. No, she doesn't. No. All right, guys. All right. So who's ready? Who has a timer out? I need to get my timer out. No way. So, no. I got. A, I got a no. timer out. No. Oh. Is Sue ready? Timer, just oh. a minute. Let me show him a little bit. Stopwatch, probably. <sighs> all, right. all right, all right. Let me change position. Where's my stopwatch? On. Hold on. All right, I'm getting my stopwatch here. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. All right, all right. I'll wait. It's, uh, we'll wait for you to say say when. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Sue Bell is going to build a website in ten minutes. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> ready? All right. Go. No, Jeez, no wait. pressure. <laughs> wait, wait. Gosh, I didn't know you guys were going to do this in real time. Yeah, me neither. Um, <laughs> scary, me. So I've already done some drills. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I had to. I know. I had to do some drills. So, yeah. so, so I want to show you. For those of you who have never seen keywords before, I want to just give you a brief tour. Um, we could maybe start with. The you mean screen. keywords the software tool? <laughs> keywords the software tool. <laughs> it's, it's really a, it's difficult. For those of you who have never seen keywords before, it sounds right? like the keywords. <laughs> so whenever Brand we say keywords, SEO. yeah, we're usually topic, talking about the, the software is uh, actually called keywords by Network Empire, just so you guys know. So you can see on my project screen, I've drilled into a whole bunch of stuff. Um, just naturally a curious person. And our projects, you have the opportunity ability to be able to tag them. If I can just make my words come out one at a time, we'll be much better off. So um, so I've tagged the things that I want to use today with the term insurance. And so as I start to type that in, you see it just automatically shows me just those projects that I want to look at. So, um, so I started with the idea of life insurance, just plain old life insurance, and drilled into that. I couldn't tell you now why I managed to have two of them, but I must have gotten over exuberant. Not that that ever happens to me. Um, so we'll just, you can open this tab up, you can see some details about the, the drill itself and what happened. Um, and we'll pick the one that's got a few more keywords. All right, so I come in here, this is the basic screen. It can show me a whole bunch more fields than what I've got selected here. I can see all these fields, but I like to just keep it simple so that I've got the things that are most important to me. So Larry is an idea of how relevant the keyword is, these keywords, to the parent term life insurance, right? And we've got the number of daily searches as per Google, and I've got the broad cost per click. So other interesting things that we've got in here are, you can see the, the number of competing pages, you can see the number of YouTube videos. Some, some good stuff, but I want to just keep it simple today because I've only got 10 minutes to be able to build this website, blah, 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 right? All right, so, um, so let me show you around the filters for just a second because that's the key to actually being able to do this in 10 minutes. So here I've got a whole list of predefined filters. So if you can still see my screen, maybe I'll just um, blow this up a little bit bigger so that you can see what's going on while I'm changing filters. If I come in here and I choose, let's say, market domination, because that's just always my favorite thing to do, and we apply that, you see this changed the, uh, the keywords behind here. We've got things like what is life insurance, um, whole life insurance, so all kinds of keywords. Um, let me just show you what's going on behind the scenes here a second. This is looking for 
um, keywords that, that are fairly relevant um, and that have, when, when it says use is greater than one, this means that your competitors are using it a lot. So that helps you understand where you are in the marketplace. And then you're looking for some cost per click and you're looking for some clicks per day. So, um, and you're looking for the number of terms and the actual keyword greater than two. So that's a definition of market domination. So let me just apply a different filter for a minute. Let's say, um, let's go from market domination down to suggested silos. Apply that filter and you can see the keyword list changed because we're looking for different kinds of ideas. So market domination is going to be a much broader concept because I'm looking for market domination all the way across um, all of my web rings, whereas suggested silos are, okay, my website is about life insurance and I'm looking for keywords that are going to be really good keywords to be my silo or the main themes in a life insurance website. So that's actually where I started my journey. And I just picked a whole bunch of these terms. Obviously, life insurance I've already drilled into. So I selected a whole bunch of these keywords that I felt applied to the way that I wanted to construct the site. And then I just came up here to actions and I hit drill selected. And that's how I got the whole list. All right, so that's how I got, um, that's how I got all of these out. Oh, darn it. That's how I got that whole list. Like I, they all came in one fell swoop. They all drilled in one big batch. So obviously you set it to drill, you walk away for a little bit, you come back and everything's done. All right, so let me go back into, let me scroll down so I can see my screen for a second. Life insurance. Let me come back here to my filter. Let me go to, um, suggested silos and hit and apply filter and then let me just go make sure that um, that I've actually got the keywords that I'm going to do drilled out because I don't want to have to stop and drill stuff while he's got a 10 minute watch going on me. That's okay I can always set the clock back a little bit. <laughs> You have to account for the, the teaching element. <laughs> right? So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, not that I'm counting, but we're like at four minutes. <laughs> what? No. Actually, we're at six. I'm joking. <laughs> no. All right. So, Video Silo Builder. This is one of our plugins. And it's got some settings here already. And I'm just going to ignore those settings for a minute because he's already at four minutes. And so I feel like I'm super under pressure now. And we're just going to go right here onto the video silo builder, manual silo builder thing. And I'm going to start making some website thingy here. All right. So, um, so if life insurance is my concept, let's go with whole life insurance. I, I want this to be actually published because I don't want to have to go back and redo the thingy dingy. Push them all live once I'm done. Whole life insurance, types of life insurance, term life insurance. Life insurance rates, life insurance quotes. Policy. Let's do life insurance policy. All right. Do we want one more? Policy quotes. Five silos. Ah, ah, ah. No, we'll go with four silos. All right. So I'm going to hit make it so. And now if I come here to my website, Oh, I just completely flattened it. I'll have to go back in and put in the, the thingy dingy. Hang on. I'm going to say thingy dingy about everything because I feel like I'm under the gun. So my apologies. I need to go back in and put in the widget. So you can't be bothered to name things. I can't name things. I'm, I'm busy. 
<laughs> Wait, I thought you were the, I thought you were the linguistics expert. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Not when I'm under pressure, no. This is entertaining. You were holding a whip in the first slide, and now this is, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I my thing I'm just messing with up, you. Right? Oh, menus. Just let me come in here to my menus and check out what's going on. Silo Builder, automatically add. Why am I not? I did hit create the stupid posts, right? Well, what the heck? I must have gone off of it before I actually hit the create button. That's okay. We won't we won't count that towards your time. <sighs> Quotes. <laughs> okay. So now, guys. Now, uh, go ahead, Mike. Here's the thing, though. If you already have your your stuff drilled out and you just jump into WordPress and start doing this. This is easily done between five and ten minutes. Um, I, I know here in house, once we have all of our research done, what Sue is doing right now, just you know, it just takes a few minutes to do. So <laughs> it it's really easy. I love some of the comments coming in right now. It's really easy to do this in ten minutes. Sue's also trying to teach you and show you how to do it and not just run through it. So it is going to take a little bit longer than 10 minutes. Not much. Not much. Not much. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it, we might be at 11 and a half minutes by the time she's done. But, you all know. right. So, so, so let's start with life insurance policy. Um, life insurance policy. All right. Wow. So now I want silos. So I'm going to come in here to filters, and I'm going to say um, I've got my silos. So I want some articles. Niches, maps, life insurance policy. I don't like those keywords. There we go. I like some of these. All right, so life insurance policy. How much life insurance? Oh, i got to come over here to the manual builder. Life insurance policy. I want to add videos. I want them to go into publish. How much life insurance? I want, um, what is life insurance? I want... Best life insurance. Let's just look and see if there's some other things that aren't quite so life insurance-ish. Benefits. Oops. Long term. All right. I'm going to go with best just because it's a good thing to do. So the one thing that I'll say right at the moment is um, I would change some of this up. Otherwise, it's going to be life insurance, life insurance, life insurance, life insurance, life insurance. But in the interest of the stupid 10-minute timer, it's not stupid. It doesn't think. <laughs> Don't it just counts. Insurance. No, we don't have quotes. Let's do quotes. Yeah, I mean, even if she gets it done in 30 minutes, it's a thousand percent faster than anything else. <laughs> even if you get it done in two hours, it doesn't. All right, so it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. So you can see I got my first silo, right? But not... I don't just have my first silo. If I come over here and I look and we go into, was it life insurance policy? Yeah, life insurance policy. I come in here to life insurance policy. You see, I've got content, right? Life insurance policy. And then oh, I need to tweak this menu out so that it looks just a little bit nicer. But that's mostly my theme. Um, that's actually entirely my theme. If I had something in here like Genesis, it would be really beautiful. Um, 
And so I've got my my silo structure on the side. What is life insurance? So it's like it's an Insta site, right? I wish I thought to put a better theme in here. All right, so life insurance quotes. How am I doing for time? You just hit 12 minutes. You just showed it in 12 minutes. <sighs> and, and, and keep in mind, you spent about four minutes explaining keywords. You, you didn't. You counted those four minutes. Well, then I've still got two minutes. Oh, yeah, you have two more minutes. You're good to go. All right. I, mean, I didn't stop the clock. <laughs> I want life insurance quotes. Give me quotes. Oh, I didn't actually drill that one out. That's horrible. Right? I didn't drill that one out either. I thought I was selecting those so that I had them all. Dang it. Term life insurance? Ah, dang it. All right. I'll show you one silo then, because the rest of them I would have to drill out. So, so here's the key, right? You want to drill out. Once you've selected your silos, you want to drill those silos out <clears throat> because when you're doing, when you're selecting the supporting keywords, um, let me come in here and show you what this filter looks like. Which one was it that I was on for the filter? Oh, I went past it. Dang it. All right. So um, <clears throat> when you're here, on one of these filters, they've all got a thematic relevance. And as I said in the beginning, the thematic relevance is from this keyword to the keyword that you drilled into. So the way that you're going to know that these are good golden niches or these are good um, suggested silos or supporting keywords for that particular theme is if you've drilled into that theme. Is there a place that shows all the filters and what they mean? Yes, there is. So let me just go find it. Um, Kevin and I even did um, videos on every single filter. Yes, indeed. So that is here. But, but this brings us actually to one of the things that we're going to talk about. See, these are all of the filters. You can see what each one of them does. And one of these videos even talks about all of the different aspects, like how you can tweak a filter filter out. So how you can take the default filter, and if it's not giving you the keywords you like, you can tweak it so that, like, for instance, um, this is a Larry of 39, and it's like, <laughs> that's just, like, that's not specific enough. I want stuff that's really close to my... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, my seed term, I can turn that up a little bit and get just the keywords that are incredibly relevant. They meet all the rest of the requirements, but they're incredibly relevant. So you can tweak that. You can say, hey, no, I, I want, you know, I want it to be um, two, do two bucks. I, I'm not really too fussed on, on how thematically relevant it is. You can just go crazy with this, which I think is one of the things that, that Jimmy likes because in he can go in there and just tweak it to his little heart's content. He's written several filters. If you come in here and look, he's got um, several of the filters actually bear his name. Jimmy's supporting keywords, Jimmy's domain name finder. So, um, Some of the titles we could not make public. What? Because they, they were slightly <laughs> lewd and licentious. <laughs> just kidding. We don't have any of that stuff. So, so we've, we've got a few questions, uh, and it could be that just about now is a really good time to uh, answer some of them. Yes, um, now that I'm out from under the clock. <laughs> oh, can we stop the clock? And, and yeah. Like and seven minutes. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so the complete time with teaching and everything was yeah. 14 minutes and 45 seconds. Yeah, with so, teaching. Yeah. So, Sue, you were 45 seconds over. I mean, come on. You can do better than that. <laughs> I'm so deflated. <laughs> uh, 
That's brilliant. The, the first question I think that's really relevant here comes from Melanie. Um, and when you'd done the initial um, drill and you were choosing the words to go into your silos, were you choosing the term by looking at some of the numbers on the right or how were you choosing them? Um, that's a great question. So I had actually done a bit of research into life insurance and I knew a lot of the pain points. So I was keeping those in the back of my head, like what I wanted to address. And, um, and then I'm letting the filter do the rest of the work for me. So the filters only bringing back keywords that have got cost per click because you want silo terms like those are some of your most traffic terms so you want a lot of searches you want money you, you want to bring people into your website at least on most of your silo terms who are ready to buy right so so the filter shows me those and then I can just run down the list and go okay those are terms that I know our pain points. These are frequently asked questions. There should ask questions. This has got to do with um, the particular USP, the, the fortes of the affiliate product that I'm selling, or whatever. That's awesome. Now, the video voodoo has created quite a few questions. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the, they boil down to um, what were your settings for the video and where did that content come from? Where did the content, look, so look, can I show you another site that's actually much prettier than this one? Oh please. Because this is actually um, where I got the idea for today's demo because I actually did put this website together in about 10 minutes. Um, so this is a, a much prettier theme. This is um, Genesis with um, Beaver Builder. So when you come in here, you can see this has also got content. It's got ads. It's got um, an opt-in on the side. Like this is basically a website ready to go, right? And this probably took another hour to an hour and a half, probably an hour and a half, because it takes some time to create the uh, the autoresponder opt-in and all of that kind of stuff and and that's like if we had already um, had all the affiliate um, sign-ups and all of that stuff so we did this in stages two or three stages but all up I would say this is well under a two-hour project to create this site so let me go back to my website for a second and show you the inner workings of the settings a video silo builder. Now the cool thing about video silo builder over deep silo builder is that it gives you, and both of those are plugins that we sell, it gives you the options to be able to add videos. And uh, excuse me just a second. Um, it gives you the opportunity to be able to set up however you want the content to set up. So if you look here, we've got the like the video title, then it embeds the, t the actual video. Then I've got some content in there that's going to appear in every single page. And then it's going to have video description. And then it goes, OK, and now a word from our sponsors. So if I actually come over here and I take a look at this, you can see the newest video. And it says, and now a word from our sponsors. It said, hey, if we had a really cool ad, this is where it would show up. So where the heck did that come from, right? Hey. If we had a really cool ad, this is where it would show up. And I have a video, I have a, an image here, which is obviously like no longer available. So let me just come over here for a second and steal this video, steal this um, this ad, and come back over here. And replace that ad with this one and then hit the update settings and if the world is as perfect as I hope it is we get our ad in there so this gives you the opportunity to put whatever you want in there right it can be like hey if it's your money site we're offering this special in uh, 
in April, we're offering this special in June, a message to your readers, whatever you want to do. And if you don't want to say anything, then you can just remove the contents from that short code. You hit the update settings and it just doesn't say anything. This stuff um, is only going to show up when you create a page. When you create a page, it creates it permanently with that, but the short code is changeable on the fly. Now, the other cool thing that this does is it's got markup, which we can update as Google updates what their requirements for markup needs to be, semantic markup, for your whole business. So you can put in your whole business address, um, settings, and wherever I told it to put my address, I may not have put that, but I can put that widget, like I can stick that widget anywhere. So I can make an About Us page, and I can stick that widget, any biz short code, on the About Us page. Let's, let me just do that really quick, like a little bunny. Since I've still got like 45 seconds, right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, it's about 45 seconds. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And now I should have a contact us right there. And when I come in here, you'll see, not only do you see that, but if I look at the page source, you'll actually see, you know, there's probably a better way to look at it. Hang on. Let me run it through. Let me see if I got the rich snippets testing tool. I think I need the URL. And it tells me that I've got a local business. All right. So for those that didn't catch that, it's adding the semantic markup in there. It certainly is. And Google really loves that. In fact, um, for those of you that sort of have uh, are not have not heard of schema.org or semantics or anything else, it's something that Google introduced uh, a couple of years ago. We've been behind this and promoting it, but Google now actually want you to add schema.org markup into your pages so that you can get better rankings and they can understand more about your site. And this plugin does that for you automatically. It's very good for local SEO. It's, it's outstanding for local SEO. In fact, this is the plugin that I would recommend for local businesses. So, so let's take a look at this for just like five nanoseconds. Let's say, not that, this, ah, this. Let's say you know the topics, or you find fairly quickly using keywords, the topics that you want for your local business. You can, with this, put your website together in very short order, along with your semantic markup. And on your home page, you can have a static page that just says, website coming. And, you know, like an opt-in form or something like that. Stay stay on top of, of um, offers we're going to be making. Right? So you can have an immediate opt-in. You can have an immediate buy button if you've got something that you want to sell. All of your pages are there. They will start to get indexed as soon as you start to put some inbound links to them, even if it's just social explosion. And then you can go through and change out your pages as you get content. Right? So, so you like that's what I've done with this whole this whole site over here, right? We put it up, we knew what we wanted to talk about, we started to get the products in, and now I want to go back and rewrite every single page so that it's got the content that I really want as opposed to the content that was pulled in automatically. But in the meantime, my pages are getting indexed, they're starting to come up the, the ranks of um, the Google SERPs, and I can see what's going to rank immediately, and I can see what I'm going to need to throw some serious backlinks at. 
Awesome. So we've got a, a couple of questions about the code that was uh, in the boxes. Um, people are, are worried that they've got to create all this themselves. Um, oh, no. 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 Oh, that's so cool. So, so first of all, I would say install it on a, a dummy block. Like, it, don't be afraid to just play with what this does, right? Create a few pages, flatten your blog, do it again. But here's the thing. I can have absolutely nothing in here, and it will create a beautiful page for you. So it's just like, oh, I want to tweak that page. Or if you want to use the short codes in that page, you're going to want to put those in here, right? This wouldn't have shown up. This would not have shown up here had I not specifically said that I wanted the short code. So if you don't know whether or not you want the short codes, then you can include the short codes now and leave these boxes blank. And then later on down the road, when it's like, oh, wow, man, yeah, I've got something that I want just like right under the videos, right under every single video, then you can come back and just throw something in one of these, whatever you had right under the video. That's what we usually do. We put one under the video and then one all the way at the bottom. Um, so you can have two different calls to action. And, um, and so I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I've got something that I want in there now. You can come in here and you can plug something in, and Bob's your uncle, it'll show up. Excellent. Um, John and a couple of other people, uh, sorry I, I've lost the question but I did notice it, um, can this be used on your money site or is it for sites uh, other than your money site in our rings? I use it for my money site. You can use it anywhere you want but I use it for my money sites, I use it for my affiliate sites. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. I've got to admit, I do as well. Um, so <laughs> the the advantage is that um, you know this will pull a relevant video from YouTube for you and put some content there. And because it creates a page, you can edit that page as, as Sue has said any way you want once it's created it. Okay, so you know everything that is there, you can fiddle with afterwards, but you don't need to fiddle. This does everything for you automatically. Um, I'm going through. Th I'll put my teeth in and try again. Going through some more of the questions. So if you want to um, carry on, I'll dig a few more relevant uh, questions out, and we'll come back to some others in the next section. Well, I actually, okay, I, I think it's time to move on and talk about the next thing that we want to talk about, because we've got, you know, we, we this was one of three things that we wanted to cover today. This is how to build a oh, website yes. in 10 we minutes. Barely, we, have barely, we have barely started. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's almost the top of the hour. The <laughs> Show must go on. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of questions that come in from this. We will cover all of them in other We'll just move on with what? Yeah, I tell you what, like this seems to be a popular enough topic. We'll have another webinar on it and show you the ins and the outs. But let me just say this. Um, I don't leave the videos. Like I, I just pulled in videos on, on that new affiliate site that we were looking at a few minutes ago, the Brain Bashing site. And like that's great to get things up and indexed. I'm not going to leave those videos there if they're competitors. Um, I'm going to go back and handpick videos for all of them, but the important thing is I can get a 30-page site, 40-page site up and running in very little time and not have to think too much about it while it starts to get indexed because, you know, indexing takes a, a few days and then ranking takes a couple of weeks. And so before stuff actually pops up onto page one for anything significant, I'm going to have that stuff changed out. All right. The the other thing I've seen like three people ask, you know, what are some of the ways that you can use this to to make money? Like, can this be used for affiliate sites? Uh, yes. Can this be used for actual money sites where you're selling things? Yes. Can this be used for client sites to get them indexed and ranking faster? Yes. Um, pretty much anything you need to build a website for, this helps you get it going. Yep. It's it lets you get out of the gate like a racehorse. I mean, you 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 come off the line running with this kind of setup. Good. All right, let's get this show back on the road. Yes. All right.
Thank you, Sue, by the way. That was really a lot of fun to try to, you know, have that <laughs> clock pressure and uh, just play around with that idea of pressure. It was kind of fun. I can't remember the... Yeah, I can't remember the exact quote, but amazing things like trips to the moon get accomplished with a great team and not quite enough time. Exactly. So, <laughs> so you did good. All right, cool. So where are we at, Mike, with the story? Well, Russ, I, I, I think it's... It, well, Sue, Sue, Sue was, had already revealed keywords, so Sue, it's time for you to tell us all the new toys and gadgets that are coming with Keywords Pro by mid-next month. Yes, so what you just saw there a few minutes ago was Keywords Basic, which is the only keywords we've had since um, we moved from TLKT. But TLKT had a few more features. And we're going to include even more features because of popular demand. So um, there's going to be a wizard in the new one that's going to help walk you through the filters that you need. So one of the, several people were asking about, you know, how, how do I know which filter to use, and what are you doing, and how do I fix this? And so there's going to be a wizard, and the wizard is going to help you with market research mode, finding the important concepts like the silos or, or, um, or even alternate themes in your market. And it's going to help you with things like how to buy a good domain name. It's going to help you figure out your website design, selecting your main themes, selecting articles, selecting supporting keywords. It's going to, you're going to be able to enter an on-site blogging mode. So in other words, okay, I've got my website, I've got the content for my website, which is the content we're going to talk about here in a few minutes. And now I need to start blogging on a regular basis how 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 do I do this? So it's going to help you with uh, everything from these were the keywords you were looking at. Now here are some title suggestions for those keywords. And as well, we're going to look at off-site backlinks because off-site backlinks, you need different keywords for off-site backlinks than what you have on-site, right? You don't want to overuse the same keyword too many times or you get into all of that hot water with Google, which we try to help you avoid. And so um, Jimmy has methodologies of percentages that he uses for this kind of a backlink and that kind of a backlink and that kind of a backlink. And all of it is extremely confusing and I have all kinds of cheat sheets that every time I go to do something, I've got cheat sheets in front of me so that I don't do it wrong and the wizard's going to help you. So. Yes. Excellent. The next part is the Keywords Pro Profit screen. So if any of you are familiar with the ROI column in Network Empire Builder and in DWS, this is similar to that. Not quite as um, in-depth, but it gives you an idea. You're going to put in like the profit that you make on a sale, and it's going to help you understand on a per-keyword basis what your estimated profit is going to be, how many on-site articles you're going to need, and what the average competitors are in terms of DA and PA, like whether it's high, medium, or low. So in addition to what I was doing, where I'm just going down, I have that filter, and I'm going down the filter, and I'm looking for keywords that have pain points, you're going to be able to take that another step further into the profit screen and say, okay, this is, these are the keywords that I want, not only based on the pain points, but also based off of the profit that I want. Exactly. So the last screen that we're going to see, the new screen that we're going to see inside of Keywords Pro is the deep inspection screen. And this is similar but more advanced than the deep inspection screen that we had in TLKT. So in other words, this is on a per keyword basis. You're looking at a particular keyword. Let's say you are on either on the regular screen or if you're on the profit screen and you see a keyword that you find interesting, you click on that keyword and it's going to bring you up the ranking domains, the URL for that domain that's ranking. It's going to have Jimmy's um, number for competition, which is basically the rank authority. It's going to have his domain quality because he always does a fancy little calculation to determine whether or not the domain has quality backlinks. And then you're going to be able to look behind the curtain if you don't want to just see 
you know, the, the icons that say this domain is, uh, is pretty terrifying, you might want to think about something else, or this domain is easy, conquering it, moving into first place is simple, you can look behind the scenes and see exactly how difficult or exactly what the, the story is. And you're also going to be able to see the ranking pages um, and uh, the on-page on SEO for the ranking pages, just basic data so that you know how well optimized those pages are. So are they ranking just merely on the authority of the website or have they done some pretty neat SEO too? You get a pretty good picture of, of what you're getting into to be able to compete in that space. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the new keywords, and there's a lot of features that are coming out with the new keywords that are, I'm really, really excited about. Um, Absolutely. Who, I mean, and I'm seeing some of y'all coming back saying you really like it, you're really excited about it. Um, I saw one question where someone was going, are we going to show you where you can get all the plugins and all this stuff? Guys, the, the plugins that we've talked about so far are the video silo plugin that that's that that we sell at Network Empire, um, and then what we were just talking about was keywords, which is the software package. But hang tight, you're you're gonna like what's coming. Um, oh, yeah, we promise we will try to sell you something. Don't don't worry. Yeah, about we, we, we yeah <laughs> don't don't worry about it. I know some of y'all are worried about it. We are going to sell you something at the end. I promise. A better way to say that is we do have, um, you know, I think we're the, one of the only companies in the world that other internet marketers that I work with us complain that we don't get to the pitch fast enough. So, what? Um, but, I try to <laughs> value what? <laughs> yeah, and sometimes we just forget yeah, to, to pitch. That's true, too. Um, but we do have a, we actually put all this t um, together in a special offer for you guys today. So. Hang out till the end, unless she wants they to. They twisted my arm so bad. Oh my gosh! If somebody has to jump off the call and you have other things going on, and for some reason you have something other to do today than to listen to us, let us know, and we'll give you the link where the offer is. Yeah. Okay. We also have it at NetworkEmpire.com. You can go to the software area, and you'll see all kinds of the individuals. But we are giving you a package here because we have never actually released what we're about to show you now. SEO casting is an innovation of myself and Mike, uh, with Sue, of course, creating more structure, and Kevin contributing contributing more and more, actually, as we move to the semantic aspect of that. So this has never been released before. We were not going to release it for a variety of reasons, but I think the time has come. And, uh, well, you know, Mike, should we get into this or move forward? Or? Yeah, we, we should. Um, you know, and, and guys, j uh, just so you kind of know the birth of this, a little over a year ago, I, I was struggling and was working on a process to get my clients to develop content. And then I was explaining it to Russ, and Russ was like, well, let me show you what I've been working on. And then so he showed me what he would work, was working on, and it took what I was doing and just made it ten times better, so then I went back and started selling it. So Yeah, and then I, what Mike does so well is then he innovates it, field tests it, tweaks to make better, and so we, we're bringing that final package to you. And we do this with a lot of our innovations. That's kind of our, how our innovation story works, or our ISDNA at Network Empire. So uh, that's really good. By the way, several of you said you have to leave, and some of you are actually like watching this at work when you're supposed to be working, which is awesome. It means that you're going to be uh, in business for yourself eventually. Um, just don't get in trouble. So we did drop the link for you guys there. And of course, you can see us on Skype if for some reason. Uh, and again, don't peek too much. Wait to buy until you understand, watch the whole yeah. videos so you know what's going on. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah, wait to end. So here, here's the idea, guys. When you ask a client who is the expert at what they do to write content, they're not going to do it. They just, they don't. But if you ask them a couple of questions, how hard is it for them to just talk for five to ten minutes and just give you the answer? Wait a Much second, that sounds too simple. That sounds way too simple. Are you sure we can't make it more complicated? <laughs> we can. We can make it a lot more complicated. And, and you know, there's, there's a whole process that goes with it, but it, it really is that simple. And, and, Russ, this is something I learned from you. The, the whole difference between a vitamin and a pain pill, you know, 
what's more important, what's going to get more conversion. And, and the biggest thing that I took away from developing content from Network Empire when I, when I first got introduced was if we ask questions that answer a problem, we make more money. It's true. Yeah, questions are the answer in that sense. You know, they point to the outcome and they tell the story. So if you're asking your clients the questions where they're answering the problem and you're recording it, is anybody seeing a theme here? Hmm. So here, here was one, and Russ, I, I, I don't know if you saw this slide in here um, before now, but back when we were getting ready for certification, we did a ton of research, and this is the, the data from one of the websites we looked at, and, and I'm showing you this one, but we, we looked at a bunch of websites and a bunch of companies that are, that are doing um, internet marketing and, and social media marketing in the same market as Network Empire. And here, here's what we saw. And this is what this trend is showing you. The average reach is by percentage. So if you see the 1.5K to 2.5K at 30%, that, that's how many words are on the page. Wow. So if you look at the chart up in the top left, you can see the number of pages is blue, the number of words on the page is gray. So if, if you look at how the graph starts to go, there seems to be a sweet spot. And the sweet spot that we saw across many websites in the market, and then I went back and looked at it for a lot of my clients, it looks like the sweet spot for content that gets natural reach to the audience sits at about 1.5 thousand words to 2.5 thousand words. How many of y'all had any idea? Give me a one if you knew that, that that articles that big had that kind of reach, or two if that's new information to you. And then I have, I have another little insight about that. My question is, no matter whether or not I knew that that was the reach that those articles get, who the heck can sit around and write articles that long on a regular basis? Well, no one. Now, That's but then just here's the next painful. step. painful. It is. You're, you're ready for the next step, though? Maybe. We went and started looking at those articles that were 1.5 to 2.5. Uh, and, and Sue, I, I showed you a handful of them. Um, it was really fun because we started realizing that the ones that were that long, it wasn't that they were that long. It's that they were answering problems in detail. It, um. was, it was an expert answering a situation in detail. Here's what happens. If we got Russ on a soapbox, and if y'all have been on many of these webinars, you know my number one goal is to get that man on a soapbox. Because every time I get him on a soapbox, it makes me money. Um, <laughs> so if I can get Russ on a soapbox, he becomes passionate about what he's talking about, and he starts talking about neuromarketing, is it 30 seconds of content or is it 10 minutes of content? And it's, oh, when he's on a soapbox. That can be an hour of content. <laughs> it can be an hour of content. So if you think about it, when you get an expert to talk about what they're passionate about and you get them to talk about it in a level that they're now just being the expert, it's going to naturally have more content. And... That's that's where things get really fun. Exactly, and as you get really good at understanding persuasion, storytelling, and all the nuances, which you know you don't necessarily learn in five minutes, but once you you know take some of our other training or even within SEO casting, you understand how to ask the questions. And Mike will get into that as well. You can actually steer the conversation in ways that even the expert. It's not just about hijacking a passionate expert and having you know 
and having them spray and pray, you know, like there's just huge amounts of information overwhelm, although that's okay too, it can be edited. As Michael showed, it's also about guiding the conversation in a way that you already know converts. Mm, yeah, totally. Um, so who, who's ready to kind of get the basic outline of the method? Should, should we show them, Russ, or should we skip this? Yeah, I think we should. Uh... <laughs> I think I think we'd have a mutiny if we tried to skip it. Uh, I think we should get it out, get it out there finally. I mean, it's not you know once everyone sees it, I think it'll be pretty straightforward, and it's not something that some of you might even be doing versions of this. We'll just help you hone it if you haven't done it. But we have found a surprising number of people are not doing this. No, they're not, and and. One of the other times, like we we've kind of talked about this in a couple of, of of the other courses once or twice, and it it was almost painful for some of the people to really get it because it, it was just it's so different on some levels of what we're used to. Yeah, the the, the kind of core, like the pit of the of SEO, the, the I would say the scourge of SEO over the last few years has been content. Yes. And, and all the different philosophies behind how it's created. And granted, our WebRing system also has many layers and different ways of doing it. You know, the further the, the further out you get into the outer darkness of, of web ring and fringe existence, the more automated you can be. I don't care. Uh, it works out there because of the way we set it up. But in the kind of stuff we're talking about, money and the closer you get to the human being at the center of the you-dash-everywhere kind of concept, closer you get to the, the center, closer to the human, the more you're going to want to be following the SEO casting type method. But exactly. And and so the the basic outline, guys, the, the outline that that Russ showed me originally was, one, you, you map out pain-based questions. You know, in other words, if you're going to ask questions, ask questions that are answering the pain. You're, you're building pain pills, not vitamins. Make sure your content is geared in that direction. Two, you don't write it down. Don't ask your clients to write it. You don't write it. You record it. Yeah, especially Please. don't ask especially don't ask your clients to write down <laughs> their passions. No, no. <laughs> we we have attorneys. You know, these guys have master's degrees. They they've gone through college. They passed the bar. And every time we ask them to write. Liz spends 30 to 45 minutes cleaning up their articles because they're, they're <laughs> great at what they're good at. They're not good writers. Yeah, but when we get them to talk, it's phenomenal. Excellent. Yeah. Um, transcribe it. Convert what they say into, into text. And then syndicate it. Guys, that's the basic outline for SEO casting. Yeah. And there's some tips and tricks that we'll show you in the course, and they do matter. Like which transcription service to use. We've tested dozens. You know, what to consider when putting it on the page. How are the questions precisely laid out? Okay, there's slight variations from industry to industry, but not really. You know, how and, do you record? Go ahead, Mike. And, and how to then turn each each 10 minute recording like this? How to turn this into 300 pieces of content? Mm -hmm. Some of them, you know, people, all of you are starting to ask a lot of detailed questions. How are you recording and this and that? Well, we have a couple of different methods, and we'll show you that in the course. I mean, we could get into the specifics of this due to time constraints, and also because it's a part of a well-orchestrated product, I'm not going to like get into every detail on this free webinar because you know we have a lot of details and a lot of time that we want to show you, a lot of things that we want to show you. But you know, well, it doesn't really matter how you transcribe it, transcribe it to answer your question, um, but you know, you, you need to be able to upload it to the fastest and the cheapest service that we've used on the web. We've done comparison of about five to seven different transcriptions, so you'll get that in the training. Also, we're going to show you some of the nuances that you might not think about in teeing up and preparing for mass syndication. And what do we mean by mass syndication? So if some of you guys are, and gals are coming in new, and we, we saw that quite a few of you are, are new to the story here and, and where we are in, in the software development and everything, uh, we need to reintroduce you. Uh, to what we mean by syndication, and the great thing is, is that these these what what you find out when you're getting the paying questions, and when you're getting the the expert to tell their story, or maybe um, uh, somebody else in the company, or depending upon who you're giving this interview, uh, who the interview and the conversation is happening with, uh, you'll find that you know placing this once you have the the main story, the main pain solution, 
or the message or a combination thereof. It really depends on the kind of writing that you're doing. Uh, Mike's going to show exactly how to do that. Once you have that, it's kind of astounding. It, it, it's weird because once you extract the meaning from the expert, and from which is oftentimes the founder of the company or their innovation story or the solution to a specific service question or whatever it is, you begin to realize that you have a lot of the times more information. In some ways, you really do know the client and their intent and what they're hoping for in their business better than they know themselves. Not always, but sometimes. And so you have, we're going to show you some of the negotiating and delicacy, but you know, the delicate maneuvering you need to, to do in order to interface with the client. Mike gets, has really, really mastered that uh, because you can't just go in there and pretend that you know everything about their business, right? So you're there to really be a scribe, if you will. And that scribe, uh, that scribe mentality uh, and the way that you position that, that Mike shows you, is key. It's truly a key element to being able to. And what's great about this, and Mike, I'm sure you're going to get into this, is for some strange reason, passionate people, business owners, entrepreneurs, and alpha-driven personalities, actually everybody, whether, whether they're even artists or, or the new celebrities or uh, their coaches, whatever it is, for some reason, this is the one thing that tends to bind them directly to your hip after you do it the first time. They just don't want to let you go. So if you have clients, even if you're not just doing this for yourself and you have clients, this is one of those things that for some reason, because some, whenever we feel understood, right, whenever we feel transcribed, whenever our story is being told, whenever our, our question, our innovation is being revealed to solve other people's problems, that's boosting our identity, right? The identity of our brand, the identity of our personality, the identity of our character. And that's a very therapeutic and binding conversation that happens between Mike and his clients. And it's, and it's very astounding the way that it creates that loyalty, uh, thus, you know, creating, galvanizing a very strong relationship with your clients. And if you don't have clients, this is one of the only ways that I personally uh, provide content on my own sites. I write about, I write prolifically in more industries than just SEO, right? Um, this is the only way that I add my own content to the web anymore. I don't really write, I don't have time to write formal thesis. Uh, only if I'm called to do that with some kind of course or some kind of Toastmasters or something like that would I, um, you know, change that format. So that's something for you guys to think about and gals to think about that. I, and I just bought her voice recorder because I'm too busy doing all this uh, kind of stuff. I just bought her voice recorder to start start doing blog posts. Um, and and Liz is like, please start using that. We need content. Yes. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, Liz is like, okay, I can take the southern slang out of this and turn this into a good blog post. Yeah, there's, now, a lot of you are tossing out some great ideas, and you, none of you are wrong. Some people are saying cell, for, cell phones work great for that. Yeah, if you like using cell phones, you like using the voice recorder. Some of us still have the traditional uh, VR thingies. You, know, you can use, uh, I personally, when I deal with, actually, Michael, get into it. You know, we'll get into it in the course. We'll just leave it in the course. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it in, in mass detail in the course, because... There, there's three or four different ways to collect the data so that you have to, to where you don't just have a blog post. You have yeah. a blog post and video and all kinds of stuff. And guys, he, here's here's the one. Here's the biggest part of this. It you, you're going to want to collect this information to where you can use it for more than just a blog post. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, now, after after all this is done, Sue, we, you've already talked some about picking the right keywords as we're as we're kind of moving forward now. Um, sometimes we pick keywords, or sometimes what looks like a good keyword doesn't really work well. You you want to dive into that some? Yeah. So like <clears throat> sometimes you know if you're just looking at cost and traffic, you know, pay per click cost and traffic, and um, and the number of searches um, from a thumb suck, it looks like that's going to be a pretty good keyword. But as you dive into exactly what the competition is, um, how much it's going to take to rank, how much on-site content you're going to need, um, how strong your competitors are, as you dive into that information, you start to become aware that what looks like a good idea on the outside is going to be quite a bit more expensive up front before you're going to start to see that return on investment. So 
that's some of what the new screens are going to help you see. Yeah, um, and and even like I'm, I'm even I'm trying to read some of these questions as they're coming in as well, and and I'm seeing a few questions like, you know, from from what they're seeing, this this isn't just for client sites. This oh. can be used for affiliate sites and everything. Every site. Yeah. Yep. Rizal just yeah. Rizal just asked that, and I was going to say like that's what I was telling you guys in other industries that I work in and that I make money in and that there's other things that I study, even hobbies where I'm ranking, like if you have a hobby site or an affiliate site, this is the only way I go. And, and literally, I, I can have a site fully loaded with expert, a WR1 site, for those of you who don't know, that's our web ring system, that's the core. I can have the full content, and I actually tested this. I actually tested, I never talked to you, uh, you Mike or Sue about this. I had a complete content site with actually too many words for each article. <laughs> uh, <laughs> done in um, something less than five hours. I had an entire full site up That's in the awesome. health industry. And so it's really uh, just to see what the speed of it was. Now, Grant, you Michael get into more stuff about how to clean it up, and there's degrees of there's degrees of cleaning and all that, but uh, it's not, Rizal, therefore, just for the course we have here, the information we're going to be providing you that's kind of wrapped around with keywords as the engine, the software as the engine. Just remember, Content is a universal problem. It's a mask. It's a story. It's a problem that we all have, and it doesn't. And the reason it's so universal is because it doesn't matter what the context. Uh, you know, uh, Mike does show a lot of the students in our MDM courses how to engage with the client. I don't know how much we're going to be getting into this training with that, but again, the the details and the specifics. You'll never think about content again in the same way. And you'll be able to add your own twists and incorporate your other things that you're doing in it. Yeah, and you know, just just to take that even a step farther, Russ, um, you know, a lot of y'all have seen the basic blueprint for City Boy Survival. What most of y'all have no idea about is City Boy Survival is actually a website that I own, and it's an affiliate website because I like gadgets for camping and camping gear, and so by having an affiliate site, I fund buying my own toys. I use this process to help develop content. Yeah. So I use it on an affiliate site. Um, and you don't and, have to. You don't have to be an expert. You can have. You, you know, depending on the type of the article, like Mike, if Mike kind of is a pseudo expert in survival and all that stuff, but if he's really passionate about a particular product or something that he's actually used in the field, that's more of a you know product review type site, and he can kick everybody else's product review out, right, and have a better one. Yeah, you know, it's I did. Really, really cool. I did a product review like that on a dehydrator, and turned it into a couple of hundred pieces of content that got distributed, and made some money off of selling Excalibur dehydrators over a weekend. Um, yes, that's a really that's a great one. Uh, you guys are probably already thinking those of you who are hardcore SEOs or super SEO aficionados like I am, is that you probably are thinking, okay. This must be really unique content. It's probably obvious to you, and you'd be right. Like, generally yeah. speaking, it's extremely rare that you would repeat even the same sentence that's already been on the web in the same order. It can happen if it's you know neo colloquialisms or these other things, but generally you're looking at between a 97 and a 100 percent unique content uh, footprint and signature. Yeah, it's huge. It's which is why the, from the SEO mindset this stuff knocks it out of the park. From a conversion mindset, it knocks it out of the park. From fixing the content problem, because the web ring system has a, a, an issue, you gotta feed the beast. <laughs> it, it fixes that problem. Um, that's why, Russ, when you, when you showed this to me a year ago, I'm like, I can, I can use this. This, <laughs> this can work. Mm -hmm. And it's um, been fun. Yeah, exactly. Rizal, that's a good question. He asks, what about accents and not perfect English speakers. Uh, the, the One of the services, I think the primary one that we show you actually deals with that, so you won't have a problem with that. That's a great yeah, question. They don't have a problem with, with my accent at all, and we have a couple of clients that have really thick accents I didn't uh, from you other had countries. Any. What kind of <laughs> accent you have, y'all? <laughs> I don't think uh, southern. I don't think southern draw is a is actually technically an accent. <laughs> no, it's proper English. It's just proper slow. English, it's proper, <laughs> slow, proper English. <laughs> Slowed down to like. 
That's funny. <laughs> Just slow down. I like that. All right, anyway. so guys, how would you like to take you 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 worked hard to get what content you have? How would you like to run through how to boost it and launch that content into orbit? Give me a one if you're ready to learn how to do some of the boosting. And a two if you've taken enough notes for one day and we should just close this down and come back yeah, next if, week. Yeah, if your fingers are already bleeding, we can come back next week. Okay. So they're telling us that this should keep, keep going. Uh, Lead on. Okay. <laughs> so keep going. Where's the sales page? <laughs> well, we already did drop that in there. there. There are people that are not able to stay through all of this, and I want each and every one of you to know how much we appreciate your time. I do not assume that you have time in your busy day for this, so no. I will go ahead and, and drop it in again just for those of you who are getting really antsy, uh, and I don't want you to feel like you missed out. If you somehow miss it, uh, go to our Skype rooms, Fran, myself, Mike, Sue, we'll, uh, Kevin, we'll try to drop the thing in there, and you can always contact us on Skype as well. Yeah. And I appreciate you. If you can't stay, I, I appreciate you making it here for what you could, and you can watch the replay um, tonight or tomorrow morning. So anyway, onward ho. All right, so for the boosting, there's a couple of things you need to do. They're one-time setups, and those are things like making sure the one feed process is set up properly, making sure your blog has social explosion installed and turned on. Um, and then what you want to do, as the blog post comes in, it has a video attached to it post the video on YouTube and link back to the blog from the video. And then create a post of on a branded Google Plus account and curate the link back to the blog. Okay? And then tweet the blog post by hand in addition to the one feed. Then you want to pin the post because you should have a featured image that's optimized on your post pin the post to Pinterest, and then pin the video to Pinterest, the, the video from YouTube, and then scoop it, curate, spin the entire post, and scoop it, then scoop the video. Separately, then two different scoops. Separately, yeah, two, two different scoops, and then pin the scoops, and then curate and spin the entire post, and publish it to Storify, and then pin the Storify article, and then scoop the Storify article. Guys, let me go back. Wait, go, yeah, go back for a second. Yeah. Let, let me just say a little bit about this. So, so when you curate it and spin it, you want to make sure that you change the headline, and you want to make sure that you change the first paragraph, and then I never include the entire post. I leave it interesting but incomplete because I want to drive them back to the to the website. So, just a couple of little yeah points there. Put put in like at the bottom of it to read the complete article. Click here. Yep. Send them back. Yeah. All right. And guys, th these are the things that almost no one ever does. Almost no one goes through this process. No. I think that Scoop It, we tried to scoop something just yesterday, and I think Scoop It has actually changed um, what it is that they used to be able to do. It used to be that, that um, you could edit it, and when my friend was trying to scoop something off of our blog the other day, she said you couldn't edit it anymore. So if that's the case, then we might have to revise this a little bit, but Scoop um. IT. I would call Gillamay up on the phone and say WTF. Right? Like, hey, hello. It also <laughs> wasn't a paid account, so maybe that would... Uh... I believe, yeah, I think the, the struggle that he's always had uh, in his original vision for the, the platform is, you know, how to monetize. And, and the, one of the first conversations I had with him during the kickoff is, like, you're giving too much away for free. <laughs> so probably one of the things that he's done is he's probably trying to find more features that people will pay for in his testing. But we'll try to confirm that for you guys yeah. so you don't have to get into the, the drama about it. Bottom line is that I'm still able to create links and uh, from it. And it really, these things that Mike is showing you here, it really is astounding 
when you understand our domain authority, trust flow, and other things that we've taught in advanced courses like domain authority stacking or the 5 iframe frame punch, which is available to you guys as a member of NetworkEmpire.com, uh, that it's, re it's, a remarkable, it's a remarkably little amount of time that you have to invest to get a remarkably huge amount of accumulative domain authority over time. I mean, it really is extraordinary. I remember going back to my stupid page and uh, thinking, okay, are we wasting this time, you know, and I had been searching for all these different platforms with Mike and Kevin and, and Sue. We, there was a time when we were just scouring for domain authority platforms and when Jimmy uh, was teaching DAS and I was just wondering, is there any purpose in this? And I spent about a year not really looking or testing what I was doing. I went back, one of our stupid sites was a DA of like 70. <laughs> and, it, and it had gotten some kind of you know recognition award like unbeknownst to us and, and this is just stuff like normal daily routine there was no effort like you know let's sit around and link build all day or nothing like that it was just a natural course of the ebb and the flow of pinning posting to high domain authority platforms in a social way with content that doesn't suck for humans right which is yep. everything that you'll be learning in this bundle here so I wanted to share that story because the breakthrough was so in immense when I went back and saw the DA of 50 on that uh, and, and 65 on one of them. Right. I mean, uh, it was a D, it was a PA. I'm sorry. Exactly. Thank you, Sue. Um, confusing everybody even further. Technical. Um, the domain authority on Scoopa was already pretty high, but the page authority for the landing page and some of the deeper pages from those free magazines even was well above 50, and that's pretty darn high, and that was juicing up quite a few. Uh, of our primary platforms. So again, the, the concept here is, you know, as you go, you're providing, uh, you're using the best keyword tool in the world as the golden thread that kind of threads itself through the story creation process and the transcription process, whether it's your story that you're recording for someone else's and, and persuading and sculpting it just a little bit to have an awesome impact in the market then socializing that every time you make one. And the accumulative effect of all of these is true broadcasting. is very powerful. And the SEO effect is amazing over time, just following a few extra steps that none of your competitors and probably a significant amount of your, if you're an agency, an SEO agency, or like a significant amount are not doing either. So that's the thought here is the breakthrough is, wow, follow some basic habits on a routine basis, put a little bit of extra time in compared to everybody else when you finish a, an article and you get all these amazing results over a period of time that are just amazingly cumulative. Exactly. Yep. So guys, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> it's a good story. <laughs> that's a true story. Um, so, guys, here's the question. Who wants more? <laughs> are, you neuro, are, you NL, are you NLP neuro-triggering uh, triggering us? Yes, I am. That feels, that feels very coercive. <laughs> I'm teasing you, man. <laughs> I learned this stuff from you. <laughs> I never taught that. No, I did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you never taught that today. <laughs> I never taught that today. Well, not once. Yeah. So, right. what do you, so what do you Who wants more? You, do, do you want more details on how to do this, the step-by-steps? Do you want the checklist? Do you want the tutorials? Do you want the detailed setup on how we do the SEO casting? Um, how would you like to have the content schedules, the blog title ideas, the SEO checklists, how would you like to have all of that in a course, put together, handed over? Right? Well, we got it for you. We we've actually, and and we've we've been talking about this for about a year about building the SEO casting out as a course, and it's finally here. And this is this actually is totally. A year in the works course, totally. and, and it really is. Um, we're going to go over the on-page SEO secrets. Uh, Sue's told Jimmy that that he's going to you know spill the beans on all the on-page stuff. Uh, the SEO implementations of domain names, site structure, picking the right keywords for your budget. Remember, guys, not every keyword you can afford to rank for. So making sure you're picking the right keywords for your silo structure uh, that matches your budget and can get you ROI. 
choosing great article keywords, selecting the proper, proper supporting keywords and how to expand on those things, uh, having blogging checklists and quality guidelines, picking the right questions, presentation mastery, because guys, if, if you're going to do this and turn it into videos, there's going to be some production stuff in there, and you know we're, we're going to actually teach classes on some of this stuff. Yeah, and Mike and I both been chomping at the bit to get this out there. It just had to be the right time, and we had to put it in the context of, because there's so many amazing tools that Network Empire offers. We offer so many things. Those of you who've been around for years know that we have all kinds of elements to the way the story is told, the way we train. But this one will really, this is a fantastic primer with the, the core SEO truths braided right through it with the best technology that I know of in the world for technology. It really, keywords is the best kept secret. I know it's Jimmy Kelly's favorite tool. You know, I've watched him use it on many, many occasions uh, from anything between uh, 10 and $15 million websites that he ranks to, um, you know, uh, just basic keywords for backlinking, you know, to kind of put the thread of the story and the correct keywords on page, on page and off page optimization. It's all there. So you know when you see definitely one of the best SEOs that I've ever met in my 15 year career uh, use this pretty much constantly, like it's open all day, that there's a really important piece you need to learn. But when you put the SEO casting on top of it with the backlink and the blog boosts and all the things that we show you there, you really do have a healthy habit that can make the difference uh, between your ranking conversion and how much you or your client makes and pretty much everybody else in the industry. And you'll find that some of these little, some of these best kept secrets around the area of content creation and how to really coach somebody else to provide the best content really creates an amazing relationship if you happen to have clients in the SEO field and or you happen to have clients in the digital marketing field. There's a whole other level of intimacy and binding them to your hip so that they never leave you and just view you as the only viable option. So regardless of what you find, your, what your story is listening to this, uh, there's something in there that is ex not a little bit powerful for all of the, the primary customers that we have, but for all of you, it's extremely powerful. And as Sue and Mike and, and Kevin and I talked about this, it was the common thread that all of our customers have. These three elements are very important to incorporate. It doesn't really matter if you're a business owner, if you have an agency, if you're an SEO, whatever uh, hat you're wearing in your business, uh, these are things that you can incorporate remarkably easily. I start to get really excited by the results. So that's kind of my little soapbox rant, rant about this product. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun for all of us. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's going to be exciting. Um, here's here's the class that I'm excited for. It's where we finally get Russ to talk about stack persuasion and how that affects SEO and how we just kind of merge the persuasion architecture directly in with SEO and the silo architecture. Exactly, and we'll we'll actually get into some advanced methods as well, and uh, yeah, everything from persuasion and unpersuasion and you know, did you know there's a difference and how all of that works? This is stuff that we're cultivating now in the CLC level one training course. So we'll have that in. Mike, here's a great question. Checklists for each section over the shoulder. How is this course going to be laid out? How is it laid out? So that's a great we're, question. We're, we're putting them, we're putting this course into the Network Empire University, which that was debuted with the MDM three course. And it's, it's a fairly new system. So, this is the second course that's going to be launched in the university system. And in that system, each course, we have the ability to, to split them up into lessons. So are we going to have checklists and all that for every single lesson? All the ones that it makes sense. So yeah. like the on-page SEO secrets, there's probably going to be a checklist there. Um, the... I know that there's going to be a checklist for the presentation mastery. There's also going to be a branding checklist. And so there's going to be a couple of different checklists for the presentation mastery in PDF form. Yeah. So, um, and, you know, I, I'm coming at this from an agency mindset. This is not an agency course by any means. But I do have, you know, I, I run an agency. So 
some of the checklists are going to be ones that, that you can use with, with clients if you have them. Not everybody has them. Not everybody's going to need that. But we're going to try to make that kind of stuff available for those that do need it. Absolutely. And we're going to have over-the-shoulder videos for all of the step-by-step -step processes. So in other words, um, we've tried on webinars to actually go through procedures, and I think that doesn't work too well. You end up having to watch a very long video to get what you need. So we're going to have short, single-topic videos that this is what you need to do here, this is what you need to do here, and then the webinars are going to be more Q&A, and if we need to demo something at that point, we will. Okay, good. Good. Well, a lot, tons of questions <clears throat> coming up. Yep. But I don't think we're going to answer each and every one of them. But um, because remember, this is an ongoing process. And so, Sue, um, I'm not really sure. Oh, um, have we included everything that's included in this? There's one major thing yeah, missing. I, okay. Let me I just, yeah, continue. I'm waiting for so, the big. big <laughs> <thing. laughs> we're going to be doing the whole detailed setup of SEO casting, and we are going to have checklists for that as well. And the advanced blog boosting, what we showed you in blog boosting is the basic blog boosting. We have an advanced system that is much larger than that. And it also includes like, hey, if, if the competition is at this level, here's a five or gig or two that you can throw at these different elements in the boost. So the advanced blog boosting is going to be in there as a checklist, and we're going to walk you through that. That um, is worth the entire. I guess it, I guess it is. Entire. That's huge. That, that's huge. Um, and we're also going to go over how you can build your content schedules. And basically, you know, if you're running an affiliate website, if you're running a client website, if it doesn't matter. If you're running a website and you're blogging, the content schedule is going to help you stay on track with frequency of publish. So. If you don't have a content schedule, it you're just not getting enough going at the right pattern. Exactly, you and that this is, yeah, this is something I picked up from Mike. You know, coming out of the agency, you know, I haven't run an agency that's kind of as full on as his is. And you, when you start going across that, you really learn a lot about scheduling, and that's a really, really huge enhancement. So those of you who that maybe wonder like what is the because remember FOP or FOP frequency of publish uh, that Network Empire talks about a lot is now a, a significant part of SEO and and the precise search engine optimization impact that it has is, is many fold uh, you know constant pinging uh, we could get into a lot of that and probably will uh, Mike has uh, I first started seeing his really awesome content scheduling system uh, last year's cert not this year's but last year's and so now you, you guys, we've really honed that. You guys and gals will get the benefits of how to think about that and be able to apply it to your own unique case. Because not everybody's content publishing needs, you know, for the larger pieces is the same. Um, and then, yeah, and, and then we're even going to go through uh, selecting keywords for backlinks to avoid penalties. So, you know, anchor text and all that kind of stuff, Jimmy's going to go over how to pick the right keywords to keep keep yourself out of trouble. And Sue is even Sue even showed y'all the filters inside um, keywords on how to start doing some of that stuff. So when we launch this to the general public, and guys, y'all are not the general public. Y'all are on that inner circle. You're part of the Network Empire community. When we launch this to the general public, we're going to sell the course for seven hundred fifty bucks. And because you're on the inside, it's a $497 course, and there's going to be an insane bonus with insane. it. Insane. Insane. Like, arm twisting, frippin' insane. Oh, this is fun to watch you guys doing dopamine stop point price stuff down. Yeah. <laughs> with hyperbole. <laughs> insane. All right. You ready for this? This is a one-time yes. payment. This is a one-time payment, one-time <laughs> offer. Um, for this, and this insane bonus is extremely limited, extremely time sensitive. Because <laughs> with <laughs> it actually is because of the number of slots and everything that we have, and with that we have an application tied. To, uh, did we even mention the app? No. Oh, I gave it away. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm so excited about it that I can't even handle my own step down thing. <laughs> um, but wait, and, there's no so you know, and some people are like, so are there upsells or this? No, guys, there there's no upsells on the inside. It's it's the 497 plus the insane bonus. Oh, Here's the on. bonus. Let me edit Here's the bonus. It's okay. you get keywords pro by Network Empire. You, yeah. yeah. For so, six months. So pro is included in the pro membership, and if you have the pro membership, let us know, and we'll give you a discount coupon. Yes. And guys, for those of you that don't have keywords or a pro membership, if you just were paying for keywords on a month-to-month -month basis, six months of keywords adds up to five hundred and eighty-two dollars. Well, who priced so, this thing? Just so. <laughs> yeah. I. Um. Let me ask you guys: How many and gals? How can you please give me a one if you already have Network Empire Pro bundle or greater? That just might help us have a quick glance. Let me know if you have a Network Empire Pro bundle or greater. This will give us a little bit of insight of, oh, that's not terrible. Well, here we go. Okay. So there will be a few of you that will get a coupon. But that doesn't seem like out of hand, does it, Sue? No, no. We're good. Okay. So the rest of you, this is your opportunity to get all the training, a ridiculous amount of training included with a, a greatly discounted price of the uh, keywords tool. Uh, however you want to look at it. There's a couple different ways to look at it whether it's the training that you're focused on, uh, which is far exceeds the value of this. This gets us interacting with you on these concepts and making sure that you get rolling very quickly on it. And, and also we don't have to worry about whether or not we know that you have the keyword tool or not. So it's all one fell swoop because you will need the keyword tool to set up a lot of these concepts properly. It all flows together with this with the story. So the, the keyword tool by itself is a $97 a month tool, the pro version. The regular basic version, which is what people have access to right now, is $47 a month. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, you're getting pro for with this package. It's all the things that comes with pro. Excellent. Okay. Well, we see a lot of people here are already interested in this. That's good. And I guess another question that came up is how long will this offer be available? Um, some people, you know, this is a very limited time offer. We're, this is good until midnight Thursday night. Oh, Thursday. Okay. Um, and if for some reason you have that challenges you or there's something else going on, just contact me privately so I know uh, if you're planning on getting in because we really do need to start ramping up and getting everybody moving on it. So that's good. Okay. Any other, um, somebody's asked how the MDM level one, the agency level training that we have, uh, is that the same as the pro? Yeah, that's that pro bundle in in level three. You've already got it, Adrian. So you'll also need to get the coupon. Okay. All right. Yes, the coupon will be sent. Um, yeah. Well, I, actually, we'll deal with those of you with couponing. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to do with it here on the um, webinar. So don't be giving us your email address and all that. Okay. It's not going to happen. Uh, we'll go ahead and lay out how we should do that. Probably in the. What should I say, Sue? Well, for the MDM guys, we'll let you know what's going on in Skype. And, Skype, yeah. Um, Good. Yeah, we'll I think other, okay. other folks who are interested in the coupon, if you're not an MDM, then give the help desk a ping. Yeah, it's not a ton of you, but we do. That, um, just let us know exactly that, that what you're talking about in this webinar, and we have a protocol set up in the help desk for you, okay? If you don't have the help desk URL, come to the Skype room, ask for it, we'll jump in there. Um, somebody said you should. We should do a webinar comparing pro versus basic. Okay. Well, I understand. Um, go ahead, Sue. So today you saw a sample of what basic does. Basic is that one screen with the filters, um, and pro is going to have the other things that we talked about in the slides. So it's got three major enhancements. It's going to have the wizard. It's going to have the um, the financial screen, the profit screen. And it's going to have the deep inspection screen. And in addition to that, we're going to have um, a title screen. So you can choose a keyword, and it'll give you suggested titles. So those are the four big differentiations between basic and pro. Okay, good. I think that's a wrap.
All right. So again, to each and every one of you, it's been a fantastic webinar. I'm actually extra excited about this one because obviously I spent quite a bit of time on the unique mechanism and the technology of SEO casting, as has the rest of the team. We enhance and, and support each other's innovation stories. And uh, I also especially really on this one want to thank Mike Clay for once again taking an innovation story and an idea, throwing it out in the field, you know, to be shot at and hunted and tested and field tested and uh, and finding where the holes are in anything. That's really all that innovation is. Network Empire is an entire team of innovators and we're constantly testing for effectiveness. Uh, most, I can really say honestly that the team that's brought this to you is uh, made up of probably the best SEO in the world, if not the best. He's definitely in the top five. Um, and when it comes to software development and thinking in terms of developmental application, Sue Bell is the best that I know, at meeting thousands of developers over the years. Uh, Kevin, I don't hang around a lot in the semantic field, but I know the five top uh, communicators in that field. Uh, Kevin's definitely in the top one or two that I know in the world around this area. So, and Mike, of course, in terms of digital marketing, and is the only person I know incorporating all of the Network Empire technologies into a digital marketing agency. So when you put all those things together, uh, what you have is a thoroughly thought out process, a great story, innovation, an innovation story about how this has been working and a way for you to apply it. Another thing that I'm really excited about is over the last six months, we've gotten better and better at making the technology, getting rocket science level, nuclear, you know, nuclear physicist level knowledge and nuclear physics, you know, the whole like nuclear reactor all down into a small bite-sized chunk that every human being could, with a little bit of effort, pretty much apply in an everyday field. So we're getting better and better at taking all that massive knowledge, the SEO hacks from the silo plugins and putting them into things like silo plugins and, you know, taking the lists and the stories and the step-by-steps and the over-the-shoulder videos and, and you know, taking it to the average. I wouldn't say the super beginner, but I would say um, even some of the beginners that I've talked to are starting to get a handle, you know, and I'm, so I'm really grateful that our team is really uh, slowing down and learning to talk to everyone and understanding their stories and what they care about and what's going on in their particular field, whether it's generally SEO or digital marketing or social media. So this course is going to follow in that footstep. This is a new a new generation of Network Empire products and services. So if in the past you've taken stuff from us, you can expect this to be a whole other level of specificity. Okay? And you guys are going to love it. And Skip, um, we'll get into other things like how many videos are in the course and the rest, but, you know, uh, I don't have that information in front of me right now. But I also know we're going to we're going to give you checklists as well. All right? And remember, yeah. this is not... This is not merely, the, this is not just the course, this is the, the keywords technology and how it's incorporated into the three phases of website development, integration, and promotion. Okay, so it's really a software driven, that's the distinction from this and MDM and other things. Okay, it's very SEO at the core and, and content casting at the core. Okay? Mike, were you going to say something to interrupt you? Um, we, you were talking about uh, how many videos and stuff are in there. No, guys, it, this is this is also one of the advanced training courses. So it's a perpetual course. So as we have current and updated information that we add, it just gets added into the course. Yes, and uh, I want you guys also to be aware that the perpetual mastermind course training that Network Empire has been doing for four years is coming to an end, and this will probably be one of the last of its kind. Okay, we've been testing that system, and we've amassed a list of intimate community people like you, you know, for the last two years. And we're actually, you know, Sue and I have talked, we're going to be walking away from that method and we'll give you more information. So I don't know, it's really up to Sue, she's CEO and this is the final call. But the Perpetual Mastermind Group training, uh, if you're, whatever you're in right now, Tyson, don't freak out. If you're in them right now, you stay in them. You're grandfathered into them. Okay, and that will be the case for this one as well. Um, and this is not a scarcity tactic. This is authentic. This is us running the numbers and working with team and deciding that, hey, we like the community that we've built and we'll continue growing, but we're not going to, you know, do the perpetual mastermind group where you pay for something once and forever you get 
innovations forever. So if you guys are into that type of thing, the, the perpetual masterminds and the rest, this being, if not the final one, one of the final ones, um, you should join as well because uh, ca content casting is not going to go away. It's just simply not going to go away. And if you're already in CLC 1, 2, 3, or you're a certified advisor, those perpetual systems will be there always. Okay? We're just not going to maintain that type of position in the marketplace. It's been great for building a, an awesome community for the last two years, and that's what it was for. So we're moving out of that phase, and, and uh, you know, we'll be moving on with that. Okay? So again, SEO casting. Uh, somebody said SEO casting domain is down. It is not down. Uh, you might have a little bit of a hiccup because we have a forward on it. So I'm going to go ahead and once again uh, drop the... Um, we have a lot of people on the call too. It might just be slammed at the moment. Yeah, probably see it's getting hit pretty hard. If one of you guys could uh, maybe drop the... I'm having some weird computer stuff go on. So yeah, I double-checked his URL. Oh, did, I guess Kevin already did it. He's got all that covered. Okay, it should be AT5 SEO casting. Yeah, I, so I had to refresh it to work because it's getting slammed. Okay, what did you say, Kevin? I didn't hear you. Yeah, uh, for, for everyone that wants to go to um, uh, another URL, I've put the URL in the chat window, and you should all have that there. Um, for those of you that can't see it, if I put that through again, that should flash up. Feel free to click on that one. Uh, I've just checked that, and uh, it's working for me. Um, it's slightly slower, so just be patient. Um, okay. It, oh yes, we are. <laughs> we are actually getting hammered right now. Um, we didn't expect quite so many people on the webinar, but it's really great that you guys are all here. And uh, I didn't. I don't know if I want to ask this in front. Well. So what, what Skype room is going, yeah, this is a way to put it, what Skype room is going to correspond with this training? Will it be general, will it be a unique one, or will we, it be... We created a unique one. Okay, cool. So it will be the same old, yeah. same old. Okay, cool. Um, and, you know, that's another thing. As we move forward in this next generation of Network Empire and, and the story is getting better and better, so we move away from the perpetual mastermind kind of mindset, that creates a, an exclusivity uh, to our community of which all of you are a part that hasn't existed before. And in fact, in some of the some of the areas, we'll even be closing our doors for only the people that are there, and it'll be a by invitation only on the rest. And we'll get more into that. And so you're definitely going to want to jump in on this, and you know, kind of get on that last chapter of the of the of phase one of the network empire launch, and move into the to the new netocratic processes that are we're going to be teaching a whole other level. And this is part of all that. Um, SEO casting is definitely uh, one of the things that is a nice a, a wonderful bridge from the SEO. A golden thread, if you will, from the SEO world, semantic world, into the storytelling, persuasion, and the humanization of the web, which is really one of the new topics and themes in, in the technology industry right now. Okay, good. So we'll jump in. We look forward to seeing you. Skip has asked a question, which I'll give as a courtesy on the way out. He was just about to purchase a curation suite. How will that course be better at curating content? There's no relationship whatsoever, Skip, uh, to curation and SEO casting. Uh, unless you're reading a bunch of material that you've curated as content out loud to transcribe it. Curation, as some of you know, I taught one of the first uh, enterprise level curation courses on the market in 2012. Uh, curation is very different. It's about taking uh, snippets and uh, tidbits of other concepts and ideas. Nothing wrong with that. You know, there's manual curation, automatic curation, uh, but really in SEO casting, Curation is not really the element. We're going to be talking about how to use experts. You know, some experts sometimes, the only way it really relates is that experts will sometimes curate and help people make sense out of all kinds of disparate information. And if you really think about that, that's something that only an expert can really do. So if you've got 57, like take Sue Bell, if you've got 57,000 topics out there on SEO, technology, backlinking, and software programming, right? There's only a few experts out there that are going to be able to create a golden thread to the meaning and all the stories and how they relate and what the heck you should do about it and how you should incorporate that into your business. That's what an expert does. And the difference between a curator and an expert is you do not have to be an expert to curate. Does everybody get that? And you don't really have to be an expert for SEO casting, but we'll be showing you how to take that content and how aligned to SEO it actually is and how aligned it is to conversion at the same time. And even if you, you are not an expert on the topic, we'll show you how to easily 
use experts and align to them uh, to create that bond. So okay. we also talk about curation in the um, in the blog boosting process. And, Indeed. And so Indeed. that that we will show you a couple of quick and easy ways that you can curate that content um, because it's all about doing it fast, right? Like this is exactly. This exactly. Is the pain. So we've got some because we've been doing this for years. We've got some set things that we can show you how to do, um, some concepts that you can use for the first couple of paragraphs, and then curate your content easily that way. Oh, abs absolutely. And Sue makes a really, really good point there. That you know when you're looking at our You Everywhere web ring, which is classic to those of you in our membership area, um, there's so much to curate. Like a single article that's done that's uh, SEO casted really well just has all kinds of content, and so. We already showed you Scoopit today. Scoopit is a curation platform. So again, that being said, Ed, you know, there's nothing to say that other things that you purchase, you might want to wait to purchase other things to make sure it fits in. But curation is a technical method as well as it is a uh, mental process. So you, it really just depends on what you're trying to accomplish. But in terms of SEO, you know, the, we have a recommendation in our course that's included at NetworkEmpire.com um, on curation. It's older. And a couple of the platforms no longer exist, but the essential elements, the essential thread, the essential story of what curation is are all there for you guys. So I recommend that before you buy anything, you go to networkempire.com, sign up for the basic package or this package that we're offering you today, and at least take that training so that you know what curation is not. Okay, so that, that's probably a good, some good advice there. All right. Well, we could go on for a long time. There's um, there's one more uh -huh. thing I want to say. There's an sure. unadvertised bonus in here just because I forgot to include uh -oh. it in the marketing copy. Um, so you're one of the doing that. I know I'm sorry. So one of the things that you're going to need um, in order to do everything that we're going to show you in the course is the video silo plugin. And because I just don't believe in giving a course away without having all of its components associated with it, we're going to give you that plugin too. Is that people on this call or, or not the webinar, not the replay, just this call, or is that everybody? That's going to be everybody. We're going to include it with the the course. It, oh, it's, gotcha. it's part of the part of the early bonus, right? So okay. you, you sign up by Thursday midnight. You guys will get the course and and okay. The yeah, when just yeah. The Hayes, Mr. Hazen just asked that, so it's midnight Thursday. Thursday. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, cool. So let's see, we've done our scarcity tactic, we've done our countdown timer, we've done our SEO casting agraria. Okay, good. We've done the step down, walk down. All right. Does everybody feel sold? Okay, good. Because all kidding aside, you guys, this is crazy. I, I feel proud, excited, and happy to have you guys a part of the story. As Network Empire comes to its new epoch, it's, we're coming to the close of a particular phase of Network Empire, and we're going to enter into an amazing future. Okay, where you know you guys are grandfathered into you know network empire. We're not just going to be like giving all our information out there to everybody forever. Um, you know, we're, it's going to be a much more intimate and tighter community. And so we want you involved, and we look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thanks, everyone.